Hello, everyone. How are you doing? First of all I would like to say welcome to ITUBEPOST channel. ITUBEPOST is Arba Minch based free virtual classroom channel that works on educating paramedics worldwide. Welcome to my presentation again. Today I will present you about the first aid treatment of external bleeding. Learning objectives. By the end of this presentation students will be able to 1. Define external bleeding. 2. Identify causes external bleeding. 3. Recognize early signs and symptoms of life-threatening external bleeding. 4. Explain first aid treatment steps for severe external bleeding. First aid treatment of external bleeding. What is bleeding? Bleeding is the loss of blood from the circulatory system. What is external bleeding or hemorrhaging? External bleeding or hemorrhaging is a condition when there's blood coming from a wound or bruises on the person's skin. What are the causes external bleeding? Causes can range from small cuts and abrasions to deep cuts and amputations. Injuries to the body can also result in internal bleeding, which can range from minor, seen as superficial bruising, to massive bleeds. What are the early signs of recognition? Blood is flowing from a wound. Action to stem the flow of blood should be taken as soon as possible. Even a cupful of blood, although not immediately life-threatening, can lead to fast deterioration if not stopped early on. Signs and Symptoms of Life-Threatening External Bleeding Blood that gushes or spurts from a wound. Blood that does not clot after efforts to control it. Faintness. Pale skin color. Nausea. Vomiting. First Aid Treatment Steps for Severe External Bleeding 1. Follow Drasabt. 2. Help the patient to lie down. 3. Remove or cut the patient's clothing to expose the wound. 4. Apply firm, direct pressure on or around the bleeding wound. Ask the patient or the bystander to do this. Use a pad or hands. 5. Squeeze the wound edges together if possible. 6. Apply a pad over the wound if not already in place. 7. Secure the pad by bandaging over it. Ensure the pad remains over the wound. 8. If bleeding is still not controlled, leave the initial pad in place and apply a second pad and secure it with a bandage. 9. If bleeding continues through the second pad, replace the second pad leaving the first pad in place and rebandage. 10. If the bleeding is severe or persistent, consider applying a constrictive bandage, a commercially available tourniquet. 11. Do not give the severely bleeding patient any food or drink and call for an ambulance. 12. Check every 15 minutes that the bandages are not too tight and that there is circulation below the wound. 13. Continue to check the patient's breathing. I thank you.